Earth is a home to a great variety of infectious diseases. Since the discovery of antibiotics at the beginning of the 20th century, we have been successful in treating many infections. The spread of dangerous pathogens is nevertheless a worldwide problem, not only in developing countries. Antibiotics are not all-purpose weapons. Their improper and extensive use has led to a rapid increase in resistant bacteria. With more and more organisms developing resistance to available antibiotics, there are simply not enough new agents currently under development. This is precisely the issue that is being tackled by the Helmholtz Institute for Pharmaceutical Research Saarland, short HIPS. HIPS was jointly founded in 2009 by the Helmholtz Center for Infection Research in Saarland University. At HIPS, we are developing new pharmaceuticals and therapies against infectious diseases. We discover and isolate new active agents, optimize and refine these compounds into new drugs, which we target to the infective region. Our scientists examine soil-dwelling bacteria for novel compounds with bioactivity against infectious diseases. In order to find unknown substances, microbiological methods are used to isolate and characterize novel bacterial strains and the compounds they produce. To produce these compounds, bacteria are cultivated using sophisticated bioreactors under precise environmental conditions. New substances are extracted from the obtained material and separated by analytical techniques. The chemical structures are subsequently elucidated using mass spectrometry and NMR spectroscopy. Structure elucidation is followed by isolation and bioactivity assays testing bacteria, fungi, and tumor cells. In the case a promising new drug is identified, its mode of action is studied on the molecular level through structure activity relationship studies commonly referred to as SAR studies. These results identify the target of the pathogen while simultaneously optimizing the structure and therapeutic effectiveness of the compound. Elucidation of the biosynthesis allows the future engineering of structural derivatives and the cultivation strain. The identified molecules are starting point for drug development. Our medicinal chemists and pharmacists now search for ways to optimize the pharmacological properties of these compounds. Our scientists modify the molecules through multi-step design-driven synthesis. To generate novel chemical structures with improved properties, we employ classical organic synthesis as well as combinatorial approaches. Each molecule is analyzed for purity and the exact chemical composition. In order to enhance the anti-infective activity of our compounds and to minimize side effects in the human body, we apply the rules and principles of medicinal chemistry within the drug design process. Once a novel compound has been synthesized and purified, its interaction with the bacterial target molecule is analyzed. Ideally, this leads to a significant disruption of the germ's pathogenicity. We have developed specific assay systems to visualize these effects. This strategy allows us to identify compounds with improved activity. Once a candidate for further drug development has been identified, it must be formulated for the body. These formulations allow the new drug to be transported to the site of the infection within the body. For example, we use drug-loaded nanoparticles to minimize adverse reactions and side effects, enhance concentration and improve delivery to the site of infection. The latest microscopy methods enable us to determine the exact quality, size and shape of the particles. We use light scattering for determining the size. An electron microscope can be used to view particles on a nanoscale and to examine their size distribution and surface structure properties. 
The analysis of the formulation depends on numerous factors, such as the type of particle, dosage, intended application, and delivery mechanism. For example, nanoparticles intended for use in the lungs must be analyzed for their flight characteristics and their behavior in the simulated breathing apparatus. Finally, scientists at HIPS test the drugs for efficacy and toxicity. Those tests include self-developed disease models of infected or inflamed cellular barriers. By these methods, we are able to aid in the development of new therapies and make significant contributions in the fight against infectious diseases.